Good morning. Today we will discuss the conditional arrival density in a Poisson process. Let us say you have a Poisson process of rate lambda. You fix a time suppose n of t equal to n. Okay. N greater than or equal to 1. So, given so I am given that in 0 to t I am fixing a time t and I am telling you that there have been n arrivals okay. and I now want to calculate the joint density of these arrival times arrival epochs all right of course unconditionally we know how the sns are distributed right the sn will be a erlang the marginal will be in erlang the joint distribution also we know we calculated from uh, you know we we worked it out right we, we used induction to find the joint density of S n unconditionally. right? Now, what I am saying is fix your t whatever you want, I am telling you that there have been n arrivals in it. Conditioned on this, you tell me how they are distributed, that is the question. right? So, question condition on n of t equal to n, what is the joint conditional density? of the arrival epochs. This is the question. Is the question clear? Now, for a Poisson process, I will tell you what the main result is okay, and we will state it as a theorem. The main result is that if you fix this window 0 to t and I am telling you that there have been n arrivals of this Poisson process. Now, conditioned on n t equal to n in the 0 to t these arrivals behave as though they are iid uniform in 0 to t okay so if you see that there have been n arrivals of a poisson process in 0 to t it is statistically the same it turns out as though somebody threw some uniform n uniform points on 0 to t okay in an independent and so you pick you take the 0 to t you throw uniform points on this independently n times they will land somewhere right it turns out that the statistics the uh, the conditional statistics of these arrival times given n t equal to n is the same as these iid uniform points thrown on 0 to t okay that is the main result okay that is what we will state let f so let me call this guy so this is the like a vector right so let me call that s superscript n okay it's a vector consisting of s1 through sn okay let f sn this is given n t of sn given n be the joint density of S n is equal to S 1 S 2 dot 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 S n <coughs> conditioned on n of t equal to n. this density this is constant over 
the region 0 less than s 1 less than s 2 dot the dot less than s n less than t and has the value f s n given in t. Okay, so, this is the joint density of S1 through Sn. On the right hand side, you notice that there is no S1 through Sn, right? It is only a function of n and t, right? n is fixed, n is the number of arrivals, t is also fixed, right? t is the time interval. So, the function this is supposed to be a function of s 1 through s n, but it is a constant function of s 1 through s n okay? and the constraint set is this guy 0 less than s 1 less than s 2. Okay? So, in that region, so in, in n dimensional space this is some region right, given by this constraint s 1 0 less than s 1 less than s 2 less than s n less than t. So, in that region this density is actually constant, this joint density is constant. Okay? So, I have to do, uh, so I have to prove this first of all and I also have to indicate that this is the same as the joint density of a bunch of uniforms, n uniforms lying in 0 to t, okay? except they are ordered. See the x 1 through s n right, are ordered, right? so this is like the joint density of uh, the order statistics of a uniform. Okay? You throw a bunch of uniforms independently one of them will turn out to be the smallest, one of them will turn out to be the second smallest and so on. Right? If you look at the joint density of the order statistics of independent uniforms, it turns out to be exactly this. Okay? That is what this result is saying. Okay? See the proof is basically Bayes theorem, okay? you have to work it out. Okay? Actually your book gives uh, two proofs. So, you look at uh, so, you know this right, let us look at the n plus 1 f we know right. So, this we know f s n plus 1 of s n plus 1 is equal to can somebody tell me lambda to the n plus 1 e to the minus uh, lambda s n plus 1. right? For so I am just taking n plus one arrivals. Okay, so just to draw a picture, zero. So this is uh, S one. Sorry, S one, S two dot dot dot. So that is S n. T is somewhere here, and S n plus one is somewhere there. Okay, but I am looking at so, I am going to calculate first f s n plus 1 given n t okay, and from there I will get f s n of n t. Okay. Uh, so, in the picture I have drawn uh, at t there have been n arrivals exactly right in this picture. So, this comes from have I written this down correctly can you please go back and check I think this is correct right this is for 0 less than s 1 less than s 2 dot 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 less than s n plus 1. This is an unconditional uh, density. Now, now, what we can do is you can just take f s n plus 1 of s n plus 1 sorry given n t given n probability of n t equal to n is is just probability of n t equal to n given s n plus 1 equal to s n plus 1 times f s n plus 1 of s. This is by 
will base ok. So, what have I done see I have just essentially written something like p of a given b times p of b is equal to p of b given a times p of a except that you have uh, densities right. So, this is a density of s n given n and this is a uh, conditional p m f given the essence ok. Again this is a little bit of a, I mean this is a little bit of a, uh, I do not like this really because you know you are conditioning on continuous random variables taking certain values which you really should not be doing, but the understanding is that <coughs> you are putting it in small intervals and taking delta to 0 and all that right. With that understanding, so maybe I should just put an exclamation mark here to <coughs> warn you that this means something else right. So, this is the p m f of n <coughs> given uh, you know these uh, essence lie in small intervals and you send delta to 0 that is what this means. Okay. Now, if you look at this, so I know this right correct, this is the previous equation and I know that of course, this is what this, uh, this guy is the one I want, the first term is the one I want is not it, and almost it is f s n plus I want f s n of n t, uh, sorry f s n uh, gi uh, given n, I have f s n plus 1 given n right. So, first let me get this ok. So, this the term that I marked with an exclamation is probability n t equal to n given the essence or whatever they are ok. Now, this is either so this is probability n t equal to n is 1 if s n is less than t less than less than or equal to t and s n plus 1 is greater than t correct like like I have drawn in the picture correct. Otherwise, it is otherwise it is 0 right if s n were here or s n plus 1 are here it is 0 correct. So, this is uh, so this guy is 1 uh, for s n less than or equal to t and s n plus 1 greater than t right yeah otherwise it is 0 right. So, you restrict attention to the case when uh, this is the this is the this is this holds right then you will get what you want. So, from this you can get f s n plus 1 given n t of I am just rearranging ok s n plus 1 given n equal to f s n plus 1 of s n plus 1 over probability of n t equal to n this holds when sorry s n plus 1 greater than t. So, if if this is the case this this guy will be 1 right this term will be 1. So, I can write uh, this this conditional density equal to unconditional density over the Poisson PMF this guy right this I this I already know right and this turns out to be whatever right we know the answer for this. This is if you just work this out this will be n factorial lambda e to the minus lambda s n plus 1 minus t over t to the n ok. Yeah. So, this comes from this joint density we already know unconditional joint density and probability n t equal to n is Poisson ok. Now, I got the joint density of s n plus 1 given n t what I really want is the joint joint density of s n given n t. So, I can just find out I mean I can do some conditioning and find out what I want. So, next you say next 
f s n plus 1 this is again by the definition of Uh, conditioning f s sorry this is f s n plus 1 given s n comma n t of s little s n plus 1 given s n comma n. So, this is again a uh, this again follows from the definition of conditional density. So, what I have done is that, so I have the uh, n plus 1, you know the joint density of n plus 1 essence, right. Then I have written that in terms of the joint density of the uh, f the first n essence and then taken the n plus 1th out separately. So, I conditioned on s n and n t, right. This is just the definition of condition, conditional density again, all right. N t is conditioned everywhere. Right. So, assume this, this, if this n t is not there, I mean you would agree with this straight away, right. There is just another level of conditioning, right. Now, so this is actually, so we know, know what do we know in this equation, right. This we know, correct. This is in fact what I calculated right here, right, the previous step. And this is the one I want, right, yeah. And this do I know, this term what happens? So, you are looking at the conditional density of the n plus 1th arrival given all the first n arrivals and n t equal to n, correct. So, you are looking at this scenario where n of t equal to n, right and given all the previous inter arrival times, what is the conditional density of s n plus 1, correct. So, that will be, what will that be? That will be another exponential, right. So, this, this interval will be an exponential after all, right. So, that will just be, this will just be whatever I want ditto times lambda e to the minus lambda s n plus 1 minus t, right. So, if you look at it, this left hand side already has that lambda e to the minus lambda s n plus 1 minus t, right. So, all I am saying is that this gets, this gets bumped out of the expression uh, in what I want, right. So, this just implies f s n given in t of s n given n is equal to n factorial by t to the n, okay. And this is true for 0 less than s 1 less than s 2 less than s n less than t, okay. This is what you want, all right. Yeah, any questions on this? It is mostly a, I mean it is just Bayes rule and a sort of mechanical derivation you and one point we have invoked memorylessness, this S n plus 1's arrival we have invoked this memorylessness, all right. But the form of this joint uh, conditional joint density is very interesting as I mentioned earlier, okay. 